Okay, good morning to all of you. I welcome to all in our lecture series on mathematical physics, and we are discussing the topic for your series. This is your lecture number twenty three A. Lecture number twenty three A. Okay, in this lecture we are going to discuss another important question belongs to partial's identity that. Uh, this is the function it has been uh, given that x into pi minus x exists in between 0 to pi first we have to find out the fourier series of this function will be this much then by using parseval's identity we have to prove summation over n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n to the power 6 equal to pi to the 6 by 945 okay actually last class i told that from today class onwards we are going to Uh, discuss about power series solution of differential equation uh, using fourier method from the next class onwards we are going to start this one okay in this class we are going to discuss this is the important question this one okay so here in the question you can see that given function is your x into pi minus x exists in between 0 to pi and the series we have to find out already given in the question that we have to find out the series will be this one so from the series one can found that all the terms are belongs to sign and here the limit is only half integral sorry half of the limit it is not the full range half range so indirectly the question in the question it is asked that we have to find out the half range sign series of this function then using this series applying parseval's identity we have to find out this summation okay first of all we are going to find out half range sign series of the given function x into pi minus x so here given function is your fx equal to x into pi minus x in between 0 to pi so and from its fourier series it can be found that we have to find out its half range sign series what we just discussed for half range series half range sign series we know that a not an equal to 0 only we have to find out the bn bn will be 2 by pi 0 to pi fx sin nx dx because we know that in general bn is nothing but 1 by l 0 to uh, sorry 2 by l for for this case for half range sign series we know that in general bn will be 2 by l 0 to l um, fx sin n pi x by l into dx so here l is nothing but pi so what will be the expression that will be 2 by pi 0 to l nothing but 0 to pi we have to put fx sin n pi x by l that means if l we put pi over here so pi pi got cancel and we are going to find out the nx nx dx <coughs> that implies bn will be 2 by pi and here 0 to pi fx is given as x into pi minus x sin nx dx and here just uh, multiply this x it will be x pi minus x square sin nx dx now to integrate this one we have to use the kronecker method you just recall that suppose we have gx and fx integration dx by using kronecker method a separate video i have already done you can follow that one by kronecker method the integration will be suppose this is the first function and this is the second function actually this is the uh, bypass only kronecker method is nothing but the uh, higher version of the bypass so if we are going to use the kronecker method then uh, it will be easy to solve by uh, uh, easy to solve this type of integrals instead using the bypass okay so if it is gx fx then what will the integration by kronecker method that is your uh, gx integration of fx dx then minus g dash x double integration of fx dx then plus g double dash x triple integration of fx dx minus so on 
okay so first function then integration of this one minus the first function derivative second function uh, second function double integration then and so on until g x uh, uh, nth derivative of g x will be zero so here you can see the g x is nothing but pi x pi x square okay so here g x first term will be g x integration of this one second term so this is the first term x pi minus x square and integration of sin nx dx is nothing but minus cos nx by n then minus g dash x so here this is nothing but your gx okay and this is your fx so derivative of this one will be pi minus 2x double integration of sin x already we found the first integration of sin nx is your minus cos nx by n again integration of this one will be uh, minus will be there cos nx is nothing but sin nx by n already n will be there so n square then we are going to go for the derivative of this one okay uh, this is the first derivative then then we are going to consider the second derivative or we are going to consider the deriv again derivative of this one it will be minus 2 and derivative integration of this one see this third term will be will be uh, triple in triple integration not triple integration third time integration of fx already uh, we have second second time integration of sin nx is your minus sin nx by n square again if i am going to integrate this one it will be sin nx will be minus cos nx so minus is there cos nx by n so n square is there nq 0 to pi already given the limit okay so this up to this much then if we are going to consider next term next term will be minus derivative of this one will be zero so then uh, other terms will be zero not to be considered okay so up to this much we got by integration using Kronecker method okay now we are going to go for the uh, substitute the limits here you can see if i will consider this term just put pi over here this will be pi square and here if i will put pi it will be pi square pi square pi square will be zero so if i will be put zero then this term will be zero so for both the limit this term will be zero so this term will be cancelled out then we are going to consider this one here you can see if i will put here uh, x uh, uh, for pi it will sign n pi will be zero if i will put zero sign zero will be zero so hence this term will be also cancelled out so only one term we can found this one and if i will put limit pi over here this will be cos n pi minus 2 is there minus 2 cos n pi by n q then minus of minus of cos 0 by n q so here uh, minus 2 is there so obviously it will be plus 2 uh, by n q okay see if i will put over here uh, a 0 that means already minus 2 is there cos 0 by n q minus so it will be 2 by n q right 2 by n q plus <coughs> now 2 2 taken outside already 2 is there 4 by pi n q whole into this will be minus minus cos n pi we know that minus a 1 to the power n plus 1 okay n q also taken outside so here you can see that if i will be considered a will be odd then this will be minus 1 again minus so plus plus 1 plus 1 will be 2 2 into 4 8 by pi n q if n will be odd if n will be even even means this will be plus plus means we are going to get the minus 1 this will be plus 1 so it will be 0 so for n will be odd values then we can found 8 by pi n q for n equal to even we are going to get the 0 so half range sign series for this function will be fx equal to summation over n equal to 1 to infinity already a0 and a n will be 0 already uh, we, we we know that one a n uh, and a0 are to be 0 only the so called half range sign series is nothing but this term n equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n x fx is given that x into pi minus x b n 8 by pi n q 
8 by pi nq I just divided with sin nx and substituted each and every n value if I will be put n equal to 1 so sin x by nq means 1q so as we consider that this value exists only for the odd value though we are going to consider the only odd value of values of n so n equal to 1 means sin nx by 1q n equal to 3 I am going to consider so sin 3x by 3q because nq will be there okay this nq will be there so 3q sin 5x by 5q then sin 7x by 7q so on so here we found the Fourier series of this given function in this range or the so called Haprin sine series whatever we intend to prove we get the same okay 8 by pi sin nx sin x by 1q sin 3x by 3q sin 5x by 5q and so on now using Parseval's identity we have to prove this one okay now we have to apply the Parseval's identity we know that according to Parseval's identity in general we we know 0 to L fx square dx is nothing but equal to L by 2 summation over n equal to 1 to infinity bn square this is the general expression of Parseval's identity so fx is nothing but x pi x minus x pi minus x that we have to substitute over here and this L is nothing but pi so 0 to pi x x pi minus x whole square it will be x square into pi minus x whole square dx and this l is nothing but pi pi by 2 summation over b n value we found this one 8 by pi n q that we are going to substitute 8 by pi n q i written n q pi whole square for n is odd okay <coughs> now you just multiply this is a minus b square so pi square plus x square minus 2 pi x this x square all we have to multiply with this dx and we are going to integrate each and every term at the time i don't you just carefully watch so that is equal to this will be pi by 2 and this 8 square is nothing but 64 this pi square pi square pi square and we are going to get 1 by nq so n equal to 1 means 1 by nq square here nq square the 1 to the power 6 then n equal to 3 means 3 to the power 3 to the power 2 again so 3 to the power 6 then n equal to 5 means 1 by 5 to the power 6 n equal to 7 means 1 by 7 to the power 6 and so on so here you can see the first term is your x square pi square pi square is constant x square okay x x square integration is nothing but x q by 3 0 to pi is the limit then second term is your what x to the power 4 integration will be x to the power 5 by 5 0 to pi is the limit and third term is the 2 pi and this is x square x x q and integration will be x to the power 4 by 4 0 to pi and this 2 pi is constant here here it is it has been written so 2 64 got cancelled pi 1 pi got cancelled we found 32 by pi and this series okay <clears throat> so here you can see if i will be put the limits then pi square this will be pi q by 3 so pi 5 by 3 this will be pi 5 by 5 and this will be pi and pi 4 by 4 and here is the pi 2 to 2 4 got cancelled pi to their 5 by 2 32 by pi and this series so if i will solve it then we can found pi to the 5, 5 by 30 equal to 32 by pi this much so here pi cross multiplication pi to the 6 by 32 into 30 is nothing but 960 equal to this series can be written as 2n minus 1 to the power 6 here you can put n equal to 1 n equal to 1 means 2 minus 1 is your 1 1 to the 6 2 if we are going to put 2 2 into 2 4 minus 1 3 to the power 6 3 2 into 3 6 minus 1 5 to the 6 so in general this series can be written as this one now we are going to consider another series that is your s equal to 1 by 6 plus 2 by 6 plus 3 by 6 plus 4 by 6 all the terms all the terms is there 5 by 6 6 by 6 7 by 6 so, so this series uh, in summation format can be written as n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n to the 6 right so this uh, series can be written by segregating the two series so considering all terms and even terms 1 by 1 to the 6 1 by 3 to the 6 1 by 5 to the 6 1 series plus all the even uh, terms 1 by 
टू टू दर सिक्स फोर टू दर सिक्स सिक्स टू दर सिक्स एंड सो ऑन सो एस दिस सीरीज वैल्यू हियर वी फाउंड दिस वन दिस वन दिस वन ऑड सीरीज वैल्यू इज पाई टू दर सिक्स बाई नाइन सिक्सटी दैट आई कैन सब्सटीट्यूट ओवर हियर इक्वल टू वन बाई टू टू दर सिक्स वन बाई फोर टू दर सिक्स वन बाई सिक्स टू दर सिक्स दिस वन रिटर्न आज सच ना फ्रॉम दिस सीरीज वी जस्ट टेक एन कॉमन दैट टू टू दर सिक्स फ्रॉम ऑल द टर्म्स सो फर्स्ट टर्म विल बी वन बाय सो वन बाय टू टू दर सिक्स टेक एन आउटसाइड सो वन दैट मीन्स इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज वन बाय वन टू वन टू दर सिक्स योर टू टू दर सिक्स टेक एन आउटसाइड सो रेस्ट वन इज योर वन बाय टू टू दर सिक्स टू टू दर सिक्स टेक एन आउटसाइड सो वन बाय थ्री टू दर सिक्स नेक्स्ट टर्म विल बी वन बाय फोर टू दर सिक्स एंड सो ऑन सी फ्रॉम दिस सीरीज I take an common one by two to the six. So if you are going to consider one by four to the six can be written as one by two to the six into two to the six. So if I will be take common one by two to the six, the rest one will be two to the six. So one by two to the six, if I will be take common from all the term, we can found one by one to the six plus one by two to the six plus one by three to the six plus one by four to the six and so on. So that implies S will be equal to this term, as such it has been written plus one by two to the six into this one is what? This one is nothing but this series S what we have been considered this one one by one to the six one by two to the six one by three to the six this one is nothing but S we have been considered so just you substitute one by two to the six into S. So here this one, but or s by two to the six taken this side, s minus s by two to the six equal to pi two to the six by nine sixty. So two to the six is nothing but sixty four. S minus s s by sixty four equal to pi two to the six by nine sixty. So here this one, this will be sixty four s minus s is your sixty three s by sixty four equal to pi two to the six by nine sixty. That implies s will be equal to pi two to the six by nine sixty into sixty four by sixty three. Final we found pi to the six by nine four five. So S we found pi to the six by nine four five. So S is nothing but your this one n equal to one to series summation format n equal to one to infinity one by n to the six equal to pi to the six by nine four five. What we intend to prove is given in the question. So thank you so much for watching this. This is one of the important question belongs to Parseval's identity. So next class onwards we are going to go for. power series solution of differential equation using fourier's method once again thank you so much for watching this video thank you